Hello and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. So what we've got here is a good old fashioned case of being late to the party. And also being late to actually um, doing a, you know, recording. So that's why it's, oh my gosh. Yeah, talk about being late, huh? Oh. Well, this is awkward. I'm apparently shooting myself in my own face, or at least have my blasters going inside of it in my own face because I'm being choked. And of course, there's no way out. <clears throat> because I... Yeah, awkward. Awkward. Well, at least we won! Yeah! Huh. Reinforcer. It's the only medal I get. I came in just a little bit late. Had no idea he was gonna do this to me. Oh man, I could have fit in this another episode than last one. All right, well, who was the best person here? Oh, uh, yeah, like I would know. Well, I'm gonna go with Gin Urches. Gin Urches. All right, because uh, you know the most the most damage was done. As was the most healing. Yep. I am not alone in my opinion. Okay. Well, that's that's it for this war zone. As is this episode. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> of course, I'll give you more than like one minute. Okay. I'll. G <laughs> Man. <sighs> oh gosh. Yeah, I got nothing done. Nothing done there, just like 3,000 damage or something in one hit or so. Man. Uh. Yep. That's the breaks. Whenever people leave war zones and near the end, it opens up a spot for someone new to come in and uh, finish off the last minute less than of that war zone. That they couldn't participate in. The unfortunate result being that some of those people can only participate in a set number of war zones. Five, in this case. Five, count them, five. Per week. Yeah. Yeah, which basically means that uh, I got cheated out of one of them. Which means that basically you got cheated out of one of them. Yay. Alright, well, let's just queue up for... Hold on. Hold on. Did I really... What? What? Daily United We Stand completed? What? Already? Dude! <gasps> that has reached level 30. Achievement complete. Level 30. Achieved. <laughs> well, apparently, this episode is is actually going to be filled up with nothing at all. Apparently, that small bit of action is all you're going to get, because now we must run about mindlessly. Um, mindlessly, hopefully not mindlessly, upgrading our abilities. Let's see what to get, what to get. Oh, wrong place. But see, this is where I'd normally have to spend all my credits to get a new a new skill training point and assignments. You know, amazing. Amazing. All right. What abilities are I going to get now? Pilot, only half our charm, Captain. Wave the right flag. Like the UN. Uh, surrender. Oh, I didn't get to read it first. Oh, stupid. I thought you had to right click on oh, stupid. What's this? Speed of piloting two? Level forty. Ah. Nothing more. Alright, well that's it. We now we have to go. I'm your guy. Now we need to look at what that what it was I just got. Was. Okay. Surrender. Wave the white flag. Hold on, what? Puts up the front of surrender, instantly lowering your threat by a moderate amount. What? Hold on. Let's just try that. 
I give up. Really? That helps? Uh... Okay. Okay. I, I'm not sure I understand. But I do... All I really understand is to not put it here, because that's not an ability I'm going to find much use for most of the time. Weird. It's really strange. Alright, hopefully we can do better here. Hmm. Heads up! When hunker down ends, you have a 50% chance to gain heads up, which increases your movement speed by 50% and grants immunity to movement impairing effects. Last six seconds. So basically, as soon as our hunker down ability, you know, which is this, basically. As soon as this thing that comes, this uh, shield that comes down and protects us, stops protecting us, we can run! That's what we can do. Awesome. Alright, lay low. Reduces the cooldown of hunker down. And excess free to fly by by 7.5 seconds. Pointless. So now we can run! If we had this thing, that is. Hmm. Neat. Alright. Recoil control. Increases the speed which speeds shot channels and fires by 15%. Additionally, firing charge bursts twice in a row. Firing quick draw or aim shot once or completing speed shot now finishes the cooldown on trick shot. Hold on. What? M uh, that's too much info. My mind is gonna explode. Dude, what does that even mean? Speed shot? I don't have speed shot. It's a speed shot thing. I don't need that. And a trick shot thing. Okay. So we've, we've got a decision between lay low. This thing, of course. That thing, obviously. And this thing. Heads up. Okay. Um. Grants immunity to movement and pairing effects. Huh. Okay. So it's like it extends hunker down by six seconds as far as the movement and pairing effects goes. Not sure how useful that would end up being. And then it probably would end up being a lifesaver m many times over. But this reduces the cooldown of hunker down. But I don't have excess freighter flyby. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with heads up, I think. Because I don't like being impaired movemently, you know? M my movement being impaired, that is one of the worst things. So I'm getting that. Alright, now I have a 50% chance, which is not good. I'd rather have a 100% chance. Well, we'll just have to wait to the next level to get that. Gotta start somewhere, right? Alright, fair play. Corso's back. Got himself an Aerotech Reconstruction Toolkit. We are uneligible for that conversation. Uh, but we are likely to be eligible to end this episode just as soon as we can queue up for a uh, flashpoint, huh? Academy New. Mandalorian Raiders. We're actually above the thing for here, huh? That'd probably be good if we could do that one again. Not good, but you know, we, we, we could make sure we own um, tank flashpoints and uh, co-op drive yards. Yeah, that sounds like mm, f f fun. I, I guess. Maybe. Uh, hold on, is that 10? Ten planetary combinations for completing a daily flashpoint. That's better than we used to have. Huh. But I'd rather do the tactical flashpoints. That seems n new. But then I'll be bolstered up, and I won't I, I won't have the abilities, though, for bolstered up, right? I'll just be doing more damage, but I'll end more, have more health points. I don't know about all that. 
What I do know is that I absolutely do not have the time to record all that right at the moment. So I'm going to use some logic and just not queue up. Let's see. I, I just want to look at it, okay? I just want to look and see if I've got some kind of a restriction on how many times I can lodge, you know? Okay, I just want to see account status. Your account status. Standard. Subscribers and pass holders receive a significant boost to all the requisition they earn in battles. Okay, so basically what it's telling me is that I get less requisition, but there's no limit on how many times I can fight. Is that right? Okay. Okay, well, as long as that's the case, and I think I can go ahead and, and wrap up today's... Uh, uh, recording session, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go on the assumption that I'm not limited here like I am with the space battles and other battles and war zones and flashpoints. And, uh, yeah. Welcome to the Galactic Starfighter Hangar. Tutorials for each hangar section will be made available as you navigate through them. You can find all your tutorials by opening the Swator game menu or enabling code tutorial alerts in your preferences. For a brief solo lesson in flying your Starfighter, press the tutorial button in the top right corner of the hangar. You mean like this? Let's do this another time, shall we? I think we... I think I'm all ready to finish the session today, you know? We'll, we'll do it later, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's do that later. Anyway, thanks for wa Okay, I get it. I got it. Oh, my goodness. Shut up. Dominator. Hey, that, that's one of my names. I'm the Dominator in a lot of my episodes. Like my ship, I tried to name it the Dominator. In some games, I did name my ship the Dominator. I like the, that's my name. I like that name. Oh my gosh, things popping up. Okay, table talk. I think we already did that. Do it again. So yeah. Uh. Hmm. So yeah, thanks for watching. And goodbye.